Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm gonna turn the music down because that's gonna be crazy loud. How's everyone doing tonight? Gotta fix a couple of things up on the stream. Uh, gotta get my cat to not jump right into the frame. Okay, let's just back up the camera a bit because it was adjusted for something else. There we go. That's decent. So, how's everyone doing tonight? Saturday night. We're uh, we're a little uh, we're, we're a little off schedule this week. Had to go pick up my wife at the airport yesterday. Her business trip flight came in late. I was supposed to be already back at like five o'clock, but it was delayed till seven. Don't know if you guys heard. It didn't hit us, but there was a huge hurricane that hit the east coast. Uh, New Brunswick, which is the province right next to mine. Uh, so there was some blowover where basically a lot of flights got rerouted to basically close to where we live because we're like the last safe zone before you got into the problem areas. So a lot of flights got diverted to us and basically that's what happened yesterday. So I'm um, just going to start by saying hi to the people I see in the chat. Nanak, he actually's chatted really early. Good evening. How was my day? Uh, today was pretty good. I, I chilled, um, tried to get a video out. We, we did get a video out and it's doing really well, so I'm happy. It is more of a sizzle reel format because, like I, like I explained, you know, time-wise, if I want to cover the new sales that started, like, yesterday, within the next couple of days, I really had to get that out some other format um but yeah other than that my day's going really well um champ dancer hey andrew wild one welcome guys welcome guys yeah we're gonna be playing some uh, shovel knight dig tonight honestly i did play a bit of it already i've had it for already like three days i would say uh i'm telling you guys right away it's really good <laughs> spoilers it's 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 good if you like 2d action roguelites uh this is another good one and oddly enough i would compare it it's a totally different style but well art style and gameplay wise it, it's a it's a different thing but i find the format makes me think a lot of um rising hell where the 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 runs are super quick uh, and even uh, so far runs that have been slightly successful, they're still done very quickly, which is something I like in my roguelites. Like, I don't like investing like three hours into a run and then dying, you know, randomly. And um, hey, Brian, welcome. God bless. God bless you, too. Um, you have a bonfire tonight? No problem, champ. Hey, thanks for stopping by. However much time you spend here, thanks for stopping by. It's always nice to have you guys in here. So yeah, um, it's it's a really quick play roguelite. And I, I sort of like that because it balances it out with the more heavier games, if we will. So it's something I really, I really enjoy. So yeah, we're going to be playing that tonight. Um, I'm not super far, though. I just beat the first boss-ish. I think I did maybe like, I'd say like seven runs, seven or eight runs. Unlocked a couple of things, got a lay of the land, if you will. 
but there's still a lot to discover. There's still a lot of stuff that I'm wondering what exactly it does, how it works. So we're going to try and figure that out tonight. You have to look that up. You don't know what those games are about. You're talking about Rising Hell. Rising Hell is a, a really cheap roguelite on the Nintendo Switch eShop that I even picked up the digital, uh, the physical version of. Uh, it is very fun. It's 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 a very heavy pixelated style, and it's funny because I think also what makes me think of that version of the game is that Rising Hell. What was original about it is that it's a vertical. You're climbing a tower the whole game. Well, this one you're digging vertically the whole game, so it's like it's it's the same, but it's like the opposite direction. <laughs> but yeah, um, oh, made in an abyss collection edition, and White Day came. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what White Day is either. Why is Maple? Why is Mrs. Maple going to the gym, but you are not? Uh, not sure what you mean by that, because normally, normally I'm the one going more often to the gym than my wife. <laughs> um, my wife is uh, my wife go, but maybe you can maybe you can specify what you mean, computer aid. Um, I want to uh, answer your question probably uh, properly, but um. We both go to the gym, and I've actually been going hardcore to the gym. Um, I used to be a, a, a really hardcore um, gym rat. Like, I even was a personal trainer uh, during my college days, and uh, I've gotten really back into it, but I'm still in progress of, of returning to my old shape. So I'm not going to show anything off till, till I, I feel like I'm, I'm comfortable showing my progress. But, uh, yeah. Um, Made in Abyss graphics are kiddish, but it's M-rated because it gets dark. A lot of games are like that. There's a lot of good games like that, you know. Um, but, yeah, it's... it's it's uh, <clears throat> Those sometimes are the best games. And I wanted to say tonight, guys, I'm already halfway into my beer. And I've discovered a new microbrewery from around here. That, so far, the two beers I tasted from them are now my new favorite beers. First one, just before we get started on the game, don't worry for anyone that's here for the gaming, we're get, we're gonna get started like in about five minutes. But I always like to start the stre streams by chilling a little bit. Exactly, actually I'm calling my, I'm calling my workout routine is Project Thor, okay? Project Thor, why? Because on, on October 31st, I wanna go as Reaver Thor, for Halloween, and I don't want a muscle suit. <laughs> so if I manage on October 31st to dress up like Thor from the Reaver scene without needing a muscle suit, I've I've managed my Project Thor. Only thing, I'm a lot shorter than Chris Hemsworth is, so I'll be a, a, a seriously shorter Thor. Um, I'm not stacking. I'm, I'm doing it 100% natural. I've always been like a natural. Um, but yeah, uh, but uh, I, I've gained about 20 pounds of muscle in about three in about three months. So I'm, I'm, I'm good. At, I, I'm, I'm, I'm starting there. Like if you just look, you know, like it's not huge. Like you don't see huge stuff, but you can get an idea that my my, my arms are getting pretty, pretty big. And, you know, like I said, I'm going to show off maybe a few pictures on Twitter or whatnot. I'm not going to do like anything, but uh, once uh, I get comfortable to where I'm, I'm, I'm at the shape that I feel comfortable sh showing it. <laughs> I don't want, I don't want this to become like a buff stream, but yeah, I'm, I've, I've gotten back into it. So yeah, I wanted to show, yeah, so the first beer I'm drinking right now is called La Noirceur. So it's a French, uh, because, you know, in, in Quebec here, we have a lot of French microbreweries. La Noirceur ba basically means the darkness. And it's a stout beer with a hint of chocolate. It is amazing. I, I love stouts to begin with. Gun alert, yeah. I'll have to, I'll have to add it eventually. 
But uh, eventually, you know, for those cutscenes where I do the Arnold and Rocky montages, I won't need to be montaged anymore. I'll be able to replay. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm just being an idiot. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Uh, so yeah, this beer, amazing. It's by a um, micro um, micro brewery called Le Grimoire. The Grimoire. Yeah, I love stout to begin with, and this like the the. The chocolate isn't overpowering. It just cuts a little bit of the of the um, the bitterness, and honestly, awesome. And in a few seconds, I'll show you guys when we start it. But I'll probably be playing, so that's why I'm going to take the time to show it now. Uh, it's another one from that same brewery. I drank one yesterday. It is amazing. It is called La Vie de Chateau. Castle life, basically, like castle living or castle life would be the translation of it. And this is amazing. It is a, um, it is a um, ambre, uh, um, amber beer with um, basically that is fortified with rum. Amazing. Amazing. This one is even better than the one I'm drinking. They're both amazing, but it's even better. It's my favorite of the two. I'm a big rum guy to begin with, so that's why. Okay, enough chatting. Let's start a... Oops, sorry about that, guys. Let's at least start a run. I'm going to get rid of the cat. Give me 10 seconds. I, I really want to get rid of the cat because she's been very um, move aroundy tonight. And I want to be able to drink my beer and chill with you guys. So give me 10 seconds. Okay. Whew. Honestly, I'd love to do a beer giveaway. I'm pretty sure there's regulations around that, though. That would be pretty rough to navigate on YouTube. And like I said, the unfortunate part of giveaways right now on YouTube. And don't worry, we're still going to be doing giveaways on the channel. But the difficulty of giveaways on YouTube right now is because of all the scamming. So it's like ruining it for a lot of people because it's making it harder to do giveaways but keep people safe but yeah <laughs> we will w w i'm i'm gonna figure some better ways well we're still continuing the weekly giveaways because those are pretty safe i think and i i'm hopefully the regulars on the channel have gotten the message that if you get communicated by anyone saying that they're using um what is that what is that freaking program app that they use it's um Oh my god, I have a blank. I was going to say Instagram, but it's not Instagram. It's that other one. Uh, anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about. As long as they, if they're, if they, the only way I communicate giveaways is through an email, my, my, the official channel email address. If anyone is asking you to write anywhere else, not me. Clear, easy, concise. I'm not going to use any other apps. I'm not going to use any other communication sources. And either way, even if, yeah, Twitter, but it's the other one too. Um, my God, not in, it, it, anyway, it doesn't matter. But um, only way I'm going to ask you to communicate with me is by email. And either way, no matter what you're winning, I'm not going to ask for any money for you to ship it or anything like that. Okay. So if ever you do win anything and someone's saying, hey, give me $100 to ship you a PS5. Definitely not a real giveaway. Definitely not my giveaways. And if ever, for whatever reason, there would be some kind of fee required, like taxes or something, because it would become a, a huge giveaway or something like that, I would say it in the videos ahead of time. <laughs> but I don't ever think that's going to happen. Let's get started. WhatsApp. Yeah, WhatsApp is another one. Um... Hockey tickets, like I said, problem with hockey tickets is it's very regional, and you guys are from all over. So, Shovel Knight Dig. It is a 2D side-scrolling roguelite, where basically we are trying to dig our way, get treasure. Um, so far, you've got this guy here that you can buy keys from. I've already bought the upgrade to be able to carry two items at once. 
when you buy an item and when you have an item that you carry behind you hey danny good evening thank you welcome my friend hey you just want a playstation you just have to share your credit card details for transport I hope you're just joking, my friend, <laughs> and you know that 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 is not a real thing. Only eight and a half hours away. Yeah, exactly. Um, so we're going to buy one of the. Oh, no, we can't. I don't have enough uh, gems because I just bought the upgrade. But now we can carry two items behind us, and I am trying to find my way to the blacksmith. Now, in the game, it is a roguelite, so as you venture, you'll get more and more people coming to your camp here, which is on the other side, and these people can sell you upgrades. Most of them so far that I found have unlocked new items that will be that you can actually discover in the dungeon. So far, I haven't found very many persistent upgrades. The only one I found that I bought is the ability to carry two items. Good thing, Danny. I just want... I was assuming because I, I, I know Danny's a pretty a pretty quick guy, so I'm like, I'm pretty sure he's just joking with me, but I just wanted to make 100% sure. So, basically, we dig around. Now, don't worry, it's not all just digging like this. See, like, that was a secret area here to the right. Whenever you see a little nail in the wall or anything like that, it generally will discover a secret area. And this is a new guy, actually. Hey, thanks for coming all the way over to talk to me. I'm getting lonely down here. Okay. So often, often if these people don't give you anything, it's that you unlock them in the camp since you found them after that. So often when we're going to go back to that camp that we were at at the beginning, that guy will be there now. Now, those little white things are really annoying. They're actually, in my opinion, so far, the most annoying part of the game. Because, yeah, they just float around. And you can't hit upwards, by the way. So we have to try to stay away from the bombs. If you get too close, the bombs are set off. Now, this guy, we have to just jump over. We missed that. In an ideal world, you try to pick up all of those gears, because basically when you get to the end of a room, if you will, in this, which is sort of like a checkpoint, if you can, uh, if you have, if you found all three gears, you you can either get your health back, or you can actually get an upgrade. So, like I said, we can carry two items. So we're gonna keep a wooden key, and we're gonna keep an egg. Now, the eggs are the only things that I found what they do, but I don't know really what they do. If you bring them to these nests that you can find hidden in the walls, they um, they spawn like a little creature. But so far, the creatures haven't done anything. So I, I'm not actually sure what they do. And when you're jumping, you can uh, sort of pogo stick on enemies like that. So, so far, those are the basics. Everything else, honestly, comes in the forms of upgrades. So we're gonna see them as we play through the game. But now I'm gonna let us enjoy this. So we have to outrun those bombs here. And this is explosives. Ah. So we got hit and we dropped a key, I didn't notice. I thought we still had the keys. When you get hit, you drop whatever items you're carrying. And as you can see, if you're digging, you actually don't fall. Now, we have the three gears, so obviously in this case we're going to get life because I'm almost dead. I'm like one hit away from dying, so we're going to recharge our life. Now we have the choice. You decide where you want to dig. I haven't figured out where all these signs, but the signs are pretty much indicating to you wh what obstacles you're going to face. I just haven't figured out yet what each sign means. So. So far, this is where we're at. And by the way, I'm going to catch up on chat in between each run. So in between each run, I'm going to take a few minutes to catch up with chat. I'm going to try to keep an eye on it while I'm playing. But this game is pretty fast paced because you haven't seen it. But if you stay immobile too long, there's there's like this huge gear that comes and kills you. So if I'm fast pacing it and I, we'll see that gear eventually, you'll see what I mean. 
because obviously I'm not gonna at one point I'm gonna have to slow down for some reason B uh, but if I'm going quickly that is why it's because I'm trying to keep the pace up so that we manage to stay alive and here we have another little secret area ish now this guy sells us food right so we, we he would have regened our life if we wouldn't. Let's see. Increase your magic by one level. Oh, this is worth it, though, because this will give us an extra hit point. So, as you see, it's a roguelite. Depending on who you meet, what you get, you will find different, like, upgrades, power-ups, and, and whatnot. And, honestly, what I really like is it feels like a Shovel Knight game. The graphics are obviously more advanced, like they look more like 32-bit graphics than the original Shovel Knight that looked almost 8-bit. But uh, it still feels like Shovel Knight to me. We have another area here. Now see, that would that would have regened our life as well. Oh, dang. Wow, that sucks. I I, I could have. <laughs> I ate the health item and then I got hit. But that's pretty regular for me when I start sucking up. Okay, another hidden area here. Like I said, what I found so far about this game is you really have to always pay attention. Oh man, I just messed up. I don't think we have a way of making it back without taking damage. I would have had to... How could I have done this? That really sucks. Doesn't matter, we're still one point ahead of where we were. And basically, obviously, when you die, you, you only keep a portion of the money that you accumulated. It's about 70% from, what I, from the math that I did. So now we have all three gears again, so we'll be able to unlock the upgrade. And those white things are just super annoying. They're annoying not because they're powerful. It's that they they they, they follow you around so slowly that they're an, they're annoying because they're hard to deal with. Oh, great! I'll have to take the health again. That sucks because this is where we get a lot of the power ups. We're gonna take health again because I'm trying to get a run going as far as we can. Uh. And hopefully next time we'll be able to do a relic run. A relic run basically is if you buy a key, you can unlock these relic rooms that unlock extra powerful items. And when I mean unlock, it's that you can pick them up in future runs. We might actually pick one up here. Oh, this is great. This is the obstacle here. So now we've got these drills to deal with constantly. We have to wait to get a good one. I think the basic plan here is we're going to try to outrun them as much as we can. And we're one hit. We're, de we're dead. Oof. Now I'm going to know that the symbol for the drills is don't take that one because that's the second time I get that one and that one is rough. If you cannot dig like super quick... It's rough staying alive to that one. We're going to buy a relic key this time, and hopefully we're going to be able to do a relic run. So let me just catch up with chat here. Like I said, give me a sec. Uh, okay, by the way, I added that joke. The answer is three letters, and it's not dirty. How does a girl become a woman? Age? <laughs> yes. Awesome. I figured you'd be playing this when I watched the trailer the other day. I thought Maple playing this. I bet the, exactly MKF. You know, you know what kind of games I am. I'm a huge fan of Shovel Knight. For anyone that doesn't know, I'm like a huge fan of Shovel Knight. One of the first pixel art things I made was the Shovel Knight versus. Um, oh my God, uh, what's his name? Uh, Dark. I'm just gonna call him Dark Shovel Knight, but I know that's not his official name. 
but basically this is one of the first pixel art bead arts I made. I'm a huge fan of the series, so that was definitely, it, definitely every Shovel Knight thing I'm going to be playing. I love the other Shovel Knight game as well, but this one feels more closer to a classic Shovel Knight. Um, what's Mario's favorite pan, uh, type of pants? Jump pants? Denim, denim, denim. <laughs> awesome. You guys are uh, ra racking up the dad jokes tonight. Uh, the yes for a kid asked his dad, Daddy, what's dark humor? Well, he said, You see that fat kid get stuck in the baby swing? Dad, I'm blind. The dad goes back to his newspaper. You're welcome, son. That's that's uh, that's that's that that's dark. That's dark, man. No problem, champ. Have a great week. Catch you next time. That is some darkness there. By the way, there's a secret here. If you do this... Oh, why can't I get it? I got it last time. We'll, we'll try it next time. When the owl is, is on his swing, you can actually jump up to the roof. And there's a guy that gives you gold the first time you do that. Or gems. Oh, so now we can... F we can... F wow, for 10,000, we could get three items. We're going to start by buying the relic key, though, however. We're going to try to do a relic run. So basically, when you see we get to the end, like where you get the gears, if you have the relic key there, there's a chance that you get a relic door. Basically, you know, instead of being able to choose which direction you want, if, the, if you have a relic key, sometimes you can take the relic door and that will unlock a new relic. So it's a new item that you can then in the future pick up in future runs. Oh man, I, I bounced the owl down here. That I don't know what that does. So we have a wooden key. Wah. See, we dropped our relic key. What the heck? Okay. We're going to restart the run because I really want to do a relic run and... That super sucks. That was like... Sorry, guys. I, I I did not want to drop my relic key, but I would have had to. That was like the only way to get out of it. Basically, every time you take a hit, you, you lose whatever item you're holding. And I did not want to lose that relic key. And now I'm really wondering what happens when you bounce the owl down there. So we're just going to buy another one. It's only gems. Let's try to get the owl down there again. Come over here, buddy. Boom. That's interesting. Let's see what that does. Okay, now this thing. Let's go here. Let's bait it up. These white things, like I said, annoy me so bad. I have to get my relic key. Oh my god! What the heck? Wow. These are like the worst runs I've ever done. <laughs> that first one w w was not too bad, but these last two runs are like the worst ones I ever did in the game. Like, what the heck? Okay. I'm gonna focus this one up. We're gonna get a key. I don't know if hitting the owl down there makes the, the runs freaking terrible, but yeah. Come on. Let's go. Okay. I'm going to try to suck less this time. Now we need this thing. Okay, we need to bounce in front of it, but bounce back up on, onto it. How am I supposed to do this? 
Ah. You know what? Never mind. We're just gonna not get the gear. I'm not gonna start dying to get the gears. I mean, I want the power-up items, but actually not dying is slightly more important. go. Sorry, I wanted to bounce off of that guy so we could go in here. Oh, there's a chest. There's a chance we can get a special item nonetheless. You got the cash, I've got the stash. Check out my wonderful wares. And I have, like, no money. Awesome, so we can't buy anything. Sucks. That, uh, that uh, It's not the first time, though. Like, when you get these rooms, like, super early in the game, you never have money. Like, no matter how you did this run, you would not have, like, a thousand gold saved up by now. Oh, jeez. There's a head there. So we want the relic key and whatever that gem key is. Okay, we're going to keep the egg and the relic key. Give me some food. Oh my god, they're so stingy. Wow, if we would have kept the other key, we could have opened this one. Darn it. We have to go this way. Do I get a nest? No. We have to go away. Oh, we got a special item. Nice. So now we got a special item here with X. You see that we have magic, which is the six that is next to it. So we can chuck an axe. I used one there just to show you guys. But you do have a limited amount. And generally, they are fairly powerful. Now I'm just going to try to not get hit. So we're going to try and do a quick run so that I can just show you guys, hopefully... What a relic key does. So I'm not going to try too hard to get everything else. Oh, the owl's here. Hey, buddy. That's super weird. I didn't know we could pitch the owl down here. go let's get a couple of those guys out of the way oh my god like i said those white things are just so annoying because you end up bouncing into them like that on an on a regular basis and i lost my relic key god dang it I lost my relic key when I bounced, when I, he hit me. Now I'm mad. Dang it. And you know what? Just to just to annoy me even more, how much you want to bet we're going to get a relic door? So this is like a trap room. You've got to kill everything to get out. Go. Come on, mice. Oh. They are uh, royally testing my patience. Give me some food. Oh my god, it's been so stingy tonight. Sometimes you have a chance that even if you don't have the gears, that'll give you food nonetheless to give you a little bit of life back. So we're not going this way because this is the drills again. But this is not much better because this I do know what it is. And it's these huge caterpillar things that run after you that you have to kill their head. Or else they just keep running after you and trying to eat you. So like I'm like I'm super disappointed with this run now. I've unlocked a couple of relics already. This is going to be rough. 
Oh, and we have to make a we have to have a way back. So she's given us a magic upgrade, so the ability to carry more magic points. And now we're at one of these freaking caterpillar things. Now, honestly, I've got to play this perfect because we've pretty much got only one hit point. Why am I playing so bad tonight? It is insane. It is insane. <laughs> the graphics are really good, honestly. And don't take the fact that I'm playing badly to not think that this is not a really, actually, really chill game. But seriously, I am really liking it so far. It is just, I don't want to say hard because I've had harder roguelites than this, but it does a really good job of creating pressure by making you have to go fast. And I haven't shown you what I mean, but I'll do it. I'll wait a little bit at the starting screen so that you can see what I mean by you can't just wait around. Yeah, it's probably cats not here. That's why. That is most likely why. Hey, the owl's coming here now on his own. That's sick. Not here because we have a special room, but as soon as we don't have a special room, I'll show you what I mean. What happens if you wait too long? Grab this. Okay, we've got an egg and a key. Now, we're going to look at the walls because if we got an egg, there's a good chance that there's a nest nearby. That white thing is so annoying. I knew that would... No. Ugh. We lost the egg and the relic key again. And check. This is, this is going to be the nest. Oh, no. It's not. It must be because it's Saturday. <laughs> Normally, Saturday is not a stream night, and apparently, uh, it's better off that way. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, we got the... Okay, so now we, we don't take damage from spikes. Nice. And we died anyway. Guy's gonna see me Hulk out tonight, man. <sighs> the neck veins starting to pop. <laughs> yeah, I know the best run is the no relic key, but that is not. The, if you don't know me yet, I'm gonna. I'm not giving up. The 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 more the game tries to test me, the more I'm going to keep going at it. Okay, now I'm gonna... Oh, dang, I bought two of them. Shite, I didn't know I could buy two. Mistake. Darn it. Okay. That just cost us an extra 500. <laughs> We're not accumulating any gems here. F gems, man. Okay, now... Oh, man, these white things are just... Like they're they're so low key annoying. You have to go here before hitting that. 
Oh my god, can you just... like... Okay. At least we're getting some gems back. And we're gonna pick up our key. So basically, when you get hit, you drop one item. But you can pick it back up. The problem is, is that often in this game, you're falling and there's really no way like to vertically back up. At least so far. Little white demons, man. Little white demons. Oh, this is a new one. I love it because there's like a ton of obstacles and you really no never know what to expect, but it still has all the best obstacles of like 2D platformers, like that auto, like that auto moving platform that you have to keep up with. However, you know, the fact that you never know what to expect is part, I think, of the challenge or difficulty, if you will. Hold on, let's hit this first. Yeah. Okay, so we got the spike proof sp sabatons back. By the way, you can check your inventory. I didn't show you guys. So you can check your inventory here to see what you got. So now we don't take damage from spikes. So this is actually a good thing because most of the keys and stuff I've lost have been to spikes. Oh, dang. Aha. Normally we would have taken damage there, but we've got our sabatons this time. Oh, yes, sir. No food. Hmm. I feel like getting the special item. Seeks out strong foes and weakens them before battle. So we've got the anvil. I've never gotten that before. Uh, this is extra white, guys. I hate that. So let's try this, whatever this is. Hey, we still have our two relic keys, guys. We're down... I have to not speak too soon because that will be the death of us. Oof. Dodge that. Oof. Oof. Oh, we don't have to worry about spikes, though. I keep forgetting that I don't have to worry about spikes this run. Oh, there, you see? I'm taking too long, so we're get that thing chases you. If, you're if you take too long, this thing chases you. So now we're going to take life at this point because we're getting pretty close to the boss. And what the heck, man? We we still haven't gotten a relic room. That sucks. But now we've got a decent run going, so at least that much. Oh, no, not these guys again. Holy crud. No. No, my beautiful run. No. Oh, my God. So annoying. It's 
run it. I'm gonna try and outrun them. Does this open that? Yes. Let us in. Please, someone give me life. At least we get a ton of gems. Oh my god. What is it? Oh, what can we buy? Magnetizes gems to you even through dirt. Extends a range of your shovel slash. Let's buy this. So now we have a longer shovel slash. Might as well. Not like our run's gonna probably go much longer. Give me food! Oh my god. I have to try the boss with no hit points. Because we're basically at the boss, guys. This is the boss lantern. So I hope you guys are ready to just auto die because that's pretty much what's going to happen here. Oh, it weakened him. That was awesome. Rage. <sighs> yes. Oh, yeah, man. I am sucking it up hard, Janus. Don't worry about it. It had to be a spike death. Like, you have the boots. You're not supposed to take spike damage. How come you take it from the head? Like, I, I get that it's, yeah, baby seal, man. Now we're just going to buy one key. And I want to get a, I want to get to a relic do door. Hey, Jacob, welcome, my friend. Glad you could catch it today. And uh, best no relic. <laughs> yeah, you guys, I'm, I, I, I'm too, I'm too hard headed to not try a relic key run. I want to get a relic. Like, seriously? Is that, are you like, you're, you're, you're freaking kidding me, right? I'm not paying attention to the traps. That's my problem is I'm trying to read the chat. I'm trying to do everything tonight. And because it's Saturday night, I, my focus isn't there. <laughs> I have to blame something. I have to find some reason why specifically tonight I'm sucking more than usual. Seriously, like this game, no joke. I love it, but it is unforgiving. Until I'm gonna get that, until you get like an idea of everything. And the worst is I can show you, I have the guy, I unlocked the shortcut to be able to cut to like after the first boss. It all depends on what type of freaking run you get. And the run, the, the bosses get more difficult. Cause the last time I fought that boss, he was just in a bland, normal room. And these these white floaty things are like the bane of my existence. Seriously? Oh, here we get an egg and a nest. So basically, this is what you have to do. Normally, these aren't in the same place, but you basically have to find an egg. You get a nest and then you get this floaty thing next to you. The only thing is the last time I got one. They didn't do anything. It didn't do absolutely anything. And do you see it in the options? Let me just see in the um, settings, controls. Nope. Nothing in the controls to explain what it does. I'm trying out the buttons to see if it does something. Nope. So we'll see. Maybe this one does something because it's not the same animal I got last time.
So whatever the pet is... Oh, another nest. But we don't have an egg this time. So you see, this, this game has a lot of stuff that are, is still yet to discover. Because so far, this guy is doing nothing. Oh, another egg! Can we get two pets? Can we get two pets? Guys, we're figuring stuff out now. Dude, we have two pets. Two useless floaty thingies. Yes, sir. What's better than one useless useless floaty thingy? Two useless floaty thingies. Oh, an axe. And another egg. Dang, and we got effed. Oof, I still have my key. I have to I have to think about that. When I get stuck on those spikes, I have to I have to like time my jumps where like No. Okay, at least we got some health back. And it is a relic door. And I just lost the relic key. This is a relic door. <laughs> Dude, this is a relic door. I just lost a key on that last move. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. In instead, we'll just beat the boss. Let's do this. Where are my floaty things? So they eat the, the, the... I didn't notice that they were eating enemies. Oh yeah, there. Okay. Awesome. Eat them, my pets. Eat them. Eat him. Thank you. Uh, chuck my axe. No. We will not chuck the axe. Oh, dang it. Eat one of these guys. Okay, we're going to take life here. Now this time, we're gonna do this. We're gonna beat the boss. So, this time they did something, but I'm telling you, last time I, I he was red. He wasn't blue. Last time I got one, he, he was red. And he wasn't doing anything, but I probably didn't get to anything that he was supposed to do, or I didn't notice it. That could also be. It's pretty weird, you can like, mash through their bodies. But he keeps chasing you, by the way. You can kill them. Ooh, we've got a key. And we've got a key door. Oh, 
Oh shit, the thing's coming. The thing's coming. I'm taking too long. Uh... Oh, power up. Extra life. There we go. So that's a power up. We got basically an upgrade to our life here. Noise. Oh, Danny coming in with a donation. Thank you so much, Danny. Very, very appreciated. If I... Oh, there is a the notification. I saw it in the chat before the notification went off, but thank you so much. Very appreciated, my friend. Let's get going. And on top of it, we have a weapon. And I'll be able to get another special item, most likely, at the thing. Oh, no. Oof. Does that make it more powerful? Let's go! Let's go! Special item! Become more attractive to get better deals at shops. Maybe it could help you elsewhere, too. Okay. How do we become more attractive? Is there, like, a hidden score somewhere? Okay, we've got this now. Let's do this. Ah, you see the boss level changes. Because it was more like this when I beat him the last time. Ooh. Oh man, the axe hits like a truck though. There we go. Boss down. That's because of Danny's donation, boys. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Oi. First boss down. Taking a tiny two-minute break. I'm just really disappointed because we could have done that. And on top of it, gotten a relic run out of it. Whew. Honestly. And I want to finish up my beer and we're going to start the other one. Oh, yeah. So, now we're going to do Castle Life. La Vie de Chateau, which is a beer that is fortified with rum. And I tweeted about it yesterday. It literally is the GOAT, the greatest of all time. Honestly, Jacob, it is super fun. Now, this what I did get a review key from um, from um, uh, the uh, my God the developer, but uh, I didn't check what its normal price is. So let me check that for you guys really quick because I know some people always ask me how much it costs. It's twenty four ninety nine. It's available on Steam. It's Shovel Knight Dig. Shovel Knight Dig. Now, boys and girls, I have a... I wanted to wait because I usually do it at the start of the stream and I don't want people sticking around just for that. So now since we're about, like, what? Half an hour, an hour in? An hour in? I'm going to be giving away a Steam key for this game. So, unfortunately, I do not have the ability to give away a Switch key for this game, but I do have the ability to give away a key for Steam. So, uh, if you are interested in getting a Steam key for this game, stay tuned. I'll be starting a giveaway very shortly. Um, but, um, yeah, it's. Uh, I, I wanted to wait till we were about halfway through the stream to make sure that the people are here are really interested in the game and that they're really here for the game. So, uh, I'd love to have a Switch key to give away, but unfortunately, I only could get one Switch key for myself. But I do have a um, I do have a Steam key that I will be giving away, um, and basically, um, you know, because Steam keys I can Steam keys are easier to buy the keys and then pick it up. It doesn't really work on Switch, so I, I I tried to find a way to buy a key for this on Switch. Could not, um, so I got one for uh, Steam. So best I could do for this game. 
Hope you hopefully you don't you guys don't mind too much. And this should run on any PC. So as long as you have Steam and you have like a relatively PC that came out in the last 10 years, it should run no problem. Uh, it's all good, Janos, but it's it's I mean, I'm I'm gonna be offering it. It's a Steam key for anyone who wants who wants to anyway later on, like I said, I'm when the giveaway comes along. People that want it, you'll have a keyword to enter if you are interested. If you aren't interested, it's fine. You can just not um, pick it up. But, um, you know, it's uh, it, I wanted to just uh, let that out there. And I, even if someone comes in last minute, it's just I didn't want someone popping in and just staying here for the only reason that we're doing a giveaway if they're not actually interested in the game. You know what I mean? Because some people could come and like after five minutes be like oh i don't want to stay here but stay because i said there there's a giveaway good honestly a gtx 730 i think would play this this is a 2d this is a 2d game uh gtx 730 is super old i'll i'll give you that but um honestly i think this would play on like just a like uh, the actual graphics from a a, CP, a a normal CPU. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, you know, like I said, I always try to get switch keys, but, you know, what not. So we will be doing that a little bit later, so stay tuned. But by a little late later next half hour okay guys not too long in next half hour i'm going to take a little break in about 20 minutes um i have to i have to run a couple of ads because with youtube i i have to well i have to it's going to help the stream blah 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 and then basically when i get back we do the giveaway and uh, by ads, it's like 15 second ads. Don't worry, guys. It's not like fuck it, uh, 10 minutes. And I just have to go take a quick break because I have to go let my dog out in about 20 minutes. So we will get moving. So let's move on. Let's keep going. These guys are annoying. I've never... What the heck is this? I've never had this happen before. Oh, dang. Okay, this is a new part. This is new storyline, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this. I must find it. It's the only way to reach the burrow. It's okay, I'm right here. Burrow, what's going on? My mind feels clouded. Perhaps it's the air down here. I apologize for rushing ahead with you. Apparently, they're under a spell, okay? Because, like, the bit of storyline that I got and... When I say bit, I mean like bit, is that everyone from the Shovel Knight universe feels compelled to dig down here. And they have no idea why they feel compelled to dig. So something's like compelling them to dig down here. So I guess this is like we're getting a little bit of background on this. That drill toting burglar, he has no intention of returning my bag. That gemstone we had in there, the hexcavators were stealing others just like it. What are they planning? I don't know, but those gemstones, they worry me. It's almost like an odd force is compelling me to dig further down the well. Dark Mage is, a, is at work here, no doubt. Be on your guard. We'll catch up to the Drill Knight before long. Uh, he could have gone down either path. I say we split up, sweep them both, and regroup further down. Let's get that bag back. Okie doke. So I'm not sure. Last time I went this, it was like a water, water environment. Oh, this is the fire environment. But the good news is, I think this is where we find the uh, blacksmith that I have not found yet. Oh, dang. Is this the blacksmith? No. 
cook. You can get some life back. Two health, two health, two and a half health. We only need two. So let's buy this. There we go. And we almost make it right back in the gems that we found down here. Dang. Wow. I was like, oh, they're not going. We'll have time. Then when I jump, of course. I need to, I, I really want to try and find, oh, this is the upgrade, this is the guy that gives you upgraded moves. Dang. Hold that attack and re release to perform a powerful attack. I don't want that. I do want this, however. This one lets you slow your descent by swinging your shovel. I've gotten this one before, and it does help a lot. Because now you, now even if you're not digging, you can sort of slow your descent. Because before I had to be digging to not drop directly. Now you can do it even if you're not digging. Oh dang it! I want that key. Another key. Dang it! Oh my god, is that the is that the blacksmith? Oh my god, we have to beat these guys. No! I'm pretty sure if we save the blacksmith, that's what unlocks him. I'm pretty sure that was him. God dang it. I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna stay here and the ball's gonna dodge over me. But no, it has homing on it. Oh well. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do the break now. I'm gonna start the giveaway after that, okay? So give me two seconds. I'm going to just run ads really quickly, run upstairs to let the dog out, and then I'll be right back two minutes max. Okie dokie. Okay. I'm back, guys. So, I don't know if you guys are still stuck in the ads, but it should be over any second now. Now, I have some good news and I have some bad news. The good news is, I'm already back. We're almost ready to get on another run. The bad news is, my cat came downstairs. <laughs> so, she might be bothering us again. And I don't have the heart to kick her out again. She ran down so quick when I opened the door that I'm like, I feel bad now. Honestly, this game is like sadistic, unforgiving. Like, yes, but I'm pretty sure it just has to do with 
getting used to all the type of obstacles because already I'm starting to see patterns and I'm, I'm starting to see types of obstacles that come back. So although it is a roguelite and it is, you know, procedurally generated, I do think there's an, a limited number of, of types of obstacles you can encounter. And once you have a pretty good idea of how to deal with all of them, um, I'm pretty sure it, it gets there. Hey, Nanaki. Hello, Topaz. Topaz is here. Here. For everyone, I want to say hi to Topaz. Topaz. Say hi to everyone. Meow. No? No purr? No meow for me? Sometimes she meows into the microphone. And so it's fine. It doesn't always work for everyone, but it's just a way that apparently YouTube promotes the stream more, so... I'm trying it out. I've I talked about it a few weeks ago or a month ago, a month and a half ago. Man, this beer is so good. Fortified with rum. It is amazing. So basically, let's get things set up for the chat. Hmm. Let me just see something here. It's like the. Uh... It's like the bot wasn't working in the chat, which is a little odd. I think he was just frozen. We're going to try it. We're going to try it. Oh, yeah, I think we're good now. So if you are interested in a if you're interested in a key for shovel knight, all you have to do is type exclamation point shovel in the chat to be entered. So all you need to do is type exclamation point shovel in the chat and you'll be automatically entered into the giveaway for uh, the Shovel Knight key for Steam. Now I just want to repeat, this is for Steam. And yes, nice, the bot is working. So we're going to do a run, guys. You'll, you'll have a few, uh, you'll have some time to put in the codes and everything. You don't need to do it multiple times. Once will enter you automatically. And by the way, if you guys wanted to get to this secret area here, we're going to try to do it. You bounce off of this. Yes, we got it that time. So basically you bounce off of the owl as you're doing the screen transition. It'll give you the height necessary to hit the sign bounce up here and you can talk to this hidden kid up here. And at least the first time I talked to him, he gave me like at least two, three hundred gems. Which was uh, pretty good. So that is the little uh, I randomly found that the other day when uh, I I basically just jumped on his head and I was like, what? Oh, nice. No problem, Sank. If ever you win and you don't have Steam, just tell me. Uh, just tell me. Oh, I can't get it, and I'll 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 re-roll. And like I said, I'm I'm sorry that I it's not a Switch copy. It's just I couldn't get keys for the Switch. I'm sorry about that. these little white floaty things man they always do dodge the worst way possible so you can't hit them with your shovel now i've got my laser focus man to make it to a relic door it's because it's fun too the relic doors give you relic challenges where basically you have unlimited uses of the relic for, for like that particular item. Now, what am I supposed to do here? Because when these things come here. That's how, okay. 
Not too bad. Oof. I would have liked to go into the secret room, but it was not worth losing my key over. Oh, we made it, guys. Relic, relic door. There we go. Uh, picking up the gears is that if you have all three gears, it unlocks this. And you get to choose either regening your life or a secret item. However, um, if you don't have all three gears, unfortunately, you don't have access to regening your life or the secret item. So it looks for secrets and points them out. Nice. So I don't know. This thing is going to tell us where secrets are. So now you're going to see what a relic challenge is. So basically, relics are very powerful items that you have to unlock. But to do so, you have to complete the challenges. So you get the item. And now the point is that we have to find a way how to use the item to make it around the different obstacles. So this one basically makes a ghost image of ourselves that we can teleport to. I don't know how we direct it, though. It doesn't seem to be... Oh, yeah, we can affect its direction, but it's not perfect. Not too bad. Ah. There we go. Get here. So just so we're clear, guys, the reason it's wonky is you can sort of direct it, but it's not perfect. And there we did it. We completed the challenge. So now in future runs, it's possible to pick that up. So now we unlock that item and we'll have it for the rest of our run this time. And we'll try and abuse it if possible. <laughs> oh no, it's the bombs. Dang it. Honestly, I hate the bombs, but want to do oh you see look the secret's shiny now because we have the item i don't know if you saw but where we can explode the wall it's actually like shining so we unlocked a feat i, I don't think i can make it there Unfortunately. There we go. Unlock this for me. Oh, nice. We got another life upgrade and another key. And an egg. So if we find a nest. Oh, so we have to choose. Well, I'll keep the crystal key and the egg. So we can only carry two items at the moment, which is why we have to choose. We already missed a gear, so... Oh, there's a explodey thing. With a skeleton in it so we've already missed a gear which is oh no but i think the more gears you have the more likely you get a power up when you get to the thing nonetheless yeah i see like now i got a little bit of life back now see these i don't know what's all what it's all about like this one is locked to me i can't actually go there so obviously there's something we have to unlock to get access to those those options. Oh no man, not these again. Okay. These freaking drills, man.
honestly, I'm just like rushing it because whatever. And we're at the boss and I don't have a lot of health. Oh, let's see if we can beat him. His patterns are really weird. Oh well. We didn't have a pr we didn't have a very good combat item. And the room was really really skewed towards him. So, one last quick reminder guys before I roll the winner of the giveaway to hit um, exclamation point shovel. If you want to be entered in the giveaway, I'm just going to type it one more time. Exclamation point shovel for a steam key of the game. Well, to be, I, I, I wrote that entered in a giveaway for a key. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna write that in chat as well. So exclamation point shovel, and you will be entered in a giveaway. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna give YouTube time for people that are listening, because uh, I know YouTube's about thirty seconds delayed. So I'm gonna wait about a minute, and I'm going to roll the winner. And honestly, this is a roguelite, so chances of us finishing it tonight were pretty low. I actually watched, um, I don't know if you guys watch Ryu. I, I, I love his stuff. Ryu does the um, debunking the difficulty on a lot of the classic games. Uh, that's, what I, that's how I discovered his content. And um, he was playing the game yesterday. Yeah, exclamation point shovel, you're entered. I can I can tell you right away. It, no, don't worry about that. Keep TV. Perfect. What do you mean there are other than YouTube? Sorry, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Um perfect. Okay, so I'm going to be rolling the, the, the winner for the giveaway in three, two, one. Don't worry about it. Keep TV. It's all good. If there was a thousand people in here and it was bad. And the winner is Keep TV. <laughs> it's pretty funny. And Guys, don't worry, I, I deactivated the possibility to type multiple times to be entered multiple times. So he won with just, it, it was just a, a... It's fine. Now, Keep TV, do you, are, are you interested in the Steam key? You were confused that you, that's why you were over typing or are you... Are you interested in the Steam key? Because if you are, I'm going to ask you just to send me an email. So, so to claim your prize, please send an email to maple syrup gaming and tech at gmail.com. Now, to prevent, perfect, to prevent for scams, okay, if ever I do receive multiple people claiming to be you, I will do a little security check, and don't worry, my friend, it is nothing that is very long, confusing, doesn't cost money or anything, it's just a really, it's a key for this game, for a shovel night dig, my friend. It's a, it's a steam key for this game.
So basically, all you have to do is send me an email at maple syrup gaming and tech at gmail.com and um, I will set you up with the key. Like I said, are you still interested, Keep TV, or are you not interested? Yeah, it's a copy of the game. I'm giving you a copy of the game for Steam. Exactly. It's a it's going to be a, a, a code that I'm going to give you. And if you put it in the claim section of perfect. So just send me an email to the email to the to the email address I put up above and I'll get that to you uh, today after the stream or possibly tomorrow, depending on on it's possible that I'm going to go offline, offline after the stream. If that does happen, it'll be tomorrow morning. Yeah, exactly. You'll be able to play it on your laptop. And if you have a, any kind of controller compatible with a laptop, it'll play It'll play just fine. Um, we're going to take another relic key in case we get we manage to unlock another relic. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the unlocking the relics thing. The first one I got was a, a lance. I unlocked a lance that basically every consecutive hit you get with it, your lance gets stronger. However, if at one point you miss and you don't hit anything with a thrust, it sort of resets. So the point is, oh, we saw this very beginning before. You see what I said, that patterns, you're eventually you're going to reseed them? Like that beginning we saw before. This exact beginning here. Oh, we got the spike-proof sabatons. Nice, we can walk on spikes. Last the the last really good run we did, we started with the sabatons. Okay, this is a little rougher. Oh my god, you white thing, man! You annoy me so bad. No, it, it destroyed the gear. That was just bad. Ah, uh, you see, this is the same room, but reversed. Last time we went through this room as well, but in the other direction. Actually, this is not a... That's not even challenging because we have the sabatons right now. Man, I've really gotta I've I've really gotta watch my health more. It's because I have I'm used to like 2D platformers where you take a hit, you get the life back and whatnot, and here we don't. Oh guys, we're gonna get to try another relic run. Yes, sir. What's this one? Cast a miniature tornado that climbs walls. There we go. Okay. Okay, that eliminates those. I guess I have to fit it through that little hole there. Oh, no, actually, we that did it. I mean, I don't need to deal with that. Yes, sir. Another relic unlocked. Oh, yeah, baby. Like, honestly, this is a game that even though I'm not getting that much further, I don't even mind because I'm actually having so much fun just playing through the levels that like it's frustrating for me because on stream I want to show you guys like new stuff but on a personal level I don't even care it's like 
each run I'm doing, I'm just having fun. And honestly, I really like the other Shovel Knight game they made with the puzzle design, but this one feels so much more like Shovel Knight. Like, they're both great games, but this one feels like what I would have thought a Shovel Knight roguelite would end up being. Oh man, that was so bad. Why did I do that like that? The worst is often these things... After the fact, I'm like, oh man, I, I know what I needed to do. But... I'm just not thinking it through before acting. Oh. Do we want the tornado or do we want that? I think we want a tornado. Th that thing, by the way, uh, like basically it acts like an umbrella and it lets you pop upwards and actually attack upwards. Now here you have to hit that. Now I would have wanted to test if the Sabatons actually block that, but since they look different, I sort of don't feel like testing it. <laughs> Uh, it was Shovel Knight, um, hold on, the other Shovel Knight game was Shovel Knight, um, I have a blank what the name is, give me a second, I reviewed it on the channel, it is Shovel Knight, uh, Pocket Dungeon, Pocket Dungeon. Great stuff, uh, Keep TV. I'll, I'll check that. Oh, dang. That made me small. What? What is this thing? Pocket power. Oh, normal size. Let's go stand in that thing. What? Oh my god, it's like an Indiana Jones... Uh, Wall. You know the last crusade when uh, he uh, when they find the secret entrance there. Chester, if you got the cash, I've got the stash. What what we got? Sling mud to reveal relics inside. Relic inside. Some rocks in the well become explosive. Let's buy this. Sure. Oh, I'm not sure what... Okay. Damn, I think that was just a waste. Dang, I didn't understand what it meant. I thought it would open up a new relic for us for future runs. But apparently it's like... Ugh. So I have to get like magic points and then sling it to get it back. Okay, I'm gonna keep this because if we do make it to the boss, I know that this is gonna help us against him. While the other thing, I have no idea if it's gonna be like a combat item or not. Oh man, we missed one. Dang it. Oh, it's only a little carrot, so it's only half life. Dang it. We, we need to get li we need to get like I need to get either all three gears or I need to get life before the le the next before the boss what does this one do oh we have to get small we have to get hit we have to hit one of those things to go in there. Oh, it gave us our life back. It was worth. Oh, we have the sabatons. I'm dumb. We have the sabatons. We don't even have to worry about the spikes. 
Oh man, we have to get hit by one of those again. There we go. A gear. Oh, actually, I'm full life now, so... Well, I still want the gears, but they're not as important as when I thought we were, like, super low in life. There we go. Ah! Oh my god. What what awful like freaking placement. Oh my god. And there was the door for the key. Doesn't matter. We're going to take life back cuz we already have a combat item, but we have no Oh yeah, we have magic. We good. So let's just power up and let's kick this boss's butt. Honestly, I'm I'm really liking it for anonymity. We got him. Oof. His pa honestly, his pattern wouldn't be so bad if the levels weren't so designed weirdly around him. But we beat his butt, so now we can move on. Oh, what's this? Oh, Attilus, there's my buddy. You were you lost. Good thing Shovel Knight was there to lead you down here, huh? Can you help us hunt down secrets? But you have to be careful in this cavern, okay? We need you. Okay. So we're going to go down this path again, because this is the fire path, and this is where we find... Because, like I said, I was watching Ryu yesterday, and he found the blacksmith. Um, and it was here, I'm pretty sure. Knight's capsule. This is a chance to spawn a magic jar when you use a relic. Maximum health. This is what we want. I keep forgetting I have the sabatons. It doesn't actually matter. Oh, wait. We don't need to talk to them again. However, I have to not forget that the sabatons, I can still hit the spikes with my head and that will still damage me. We're going to wait for the fire here. We're not going to do the same mistake we did last time. What? Disagree with that, but okay. Two health. And we're going to buy the half health too. Now I wonder if my sabatons are going to work on the big drills. We're going to find out. Chris M with another donation. Thank you so much, my friend. Looks fun, but I'm thinking of waiting till it hits an eShop sales video. Thanks for the live playthrough. Well, it is a pleasure, and this will definitely be a game that will be highlighted on eShop deals. So the Sabatons do work on the bigger drills. Oh yeah. So actually we're we're I'm I'm liking this run so far. I don't wanna I don't wanna jinx it. I don't wanna jinx it. But I am liking this run so far.
Instead of the white things now, it's these flying knives. And that, I, I was so bad there. Like, I'm like, oh, maybe it's gonna miss me. How the heck am I supposed to get that? I had to drop there and, and shovel through. Now how am I supposed to, what am I supposed to do? Oh, wow. Okay, you shovel coal into that. Got it. That goes up. Oof, right in time because that thing was, I uh, was taking way too long. Okie dokie. Oof. Okay. Oh, another another food dude. Okay, refills three health. It only grants three shields. What's three shields? Does that mean like three times damage? Hmm. I feel like buying this. Let's try it out. Dang. We stacked now. Guys, this is the run. This is the run. We might make it to the second boss. I cannot take hits for no goof for like dumb reasons. Plus, we've got a pretty decent combat item. I mean, things are looking up this run. Things are definitely looking up, and I think I have all three cogs. So we can actually grab the random. Makes me more attractive. Nice. So, Mole Knight or an Apple? Let's go with the Mole Knight run. Yeah, it's health that can't be regenerated. That's that's what I pretty much... That's what I, I'm guessing as well, and I'm, I'm, I'm like... Guessing very heavily, edgy, like, and I'm pretty sure it's that. Because <laughs> you can see it up there, and, and when I took a hit, it basically... I lost it first. Dang. How did... This is so dumb. Mike. Okay, Topaz is saying hi. Hi, guys. Stop hitting the microphone, please, Topaz. Yes, thank you. Hi, I'm, Bo I, hi, I'm Tom Bola, the mole. My role is to roll the Tombola. You ready to roll up? Sure. Okay, yeah, but I'm full health. Wow, what a jip. No, Yacht Club tries to keep their games. The, the thing about Yacht Club is I find they, I, they put... I'm going to say it this way. They put decent starting prices on their games where their games are extre extremely high quality. So $24.99 for an extremely high quality indie game like this is actually a decent starting price. Some companies would go for higher, but they're not one of those companies that will give like 80% off. Like Shovel Knight Treasure Trove right now is 35% off, and that's like their that's like their go-to discount. It's still it's still money. I mean 35% off is better than no discount at all. But I've honestly never seen Yacht Club games go like 80% off like like some other like a lot of other indie companies go like sort of a year after their game releases and it, it, It's fine. It's just it's just a different marketing strategy God, what is these? I'm trying to catch what their what the exact logic. Oh my god, some fall, some come back up. I wish we could get to the um I want to I want to find the blacksmith. Okay, we're doing not too bad. But I took way too many hits. Like I I was really thinking that we'd have like, this run was going so well, 
and now I feel like it nonetheless is going slightly weaker. Oh my god, okay, we gotta... Like, that was annoying, because we, we took way too many hits there. Hey, what's up, Jumping Bear? Modern Warfare 2 open beta on Xbox today. That's an awesome thing. I might check that out later tonight. Might. My wife is sick. She got back from her business trip. She felt like garbage. So, it all depends on, on whether I can get some time away after the stream. Already, the fact that I was streaming tonight was not to her 100% liking. But I told her, hey, I already delayed it because your flight was late. Don't, I can't cancel it right out. I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm doing pretty good. Honestly, uh, cannot, lately cannot complain. Everything too busy, but other than that, I, I really cannot complain. I mean, there's worse things than being too busy. Like, I, I'm just annoyed here because... Like, I'm no I know we're gonna be too low life to try this next boss. And it's annoying that we got here. But we're most likely gonna be hurt by the fact that we're low life. What was that? What 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 even was that? If you like old school Mega Man games, and I know you do, Jumping Bear, Treasure Trove is worth it because um, Shovel Knight 1, by the way, was very heavily um, built off of Mega Man 3, like the basics of the gameplay. Obviously, they twisted it to Shovel Knight, okay? So I'm not saying it's a copy, but the basic gameplay like mechanics were heavily built off of the uh, Mega Man 3. So if you like Mega Man, it's almost guaranteed you're going to love Shovel Knight because Shovel Knight, especially the first one, plays out like basically a melee Mega Man uh, with some added mechanics. Like his shovel jump is like something that is that is that is known to the series to Shovel Knight. And that is uh, that is it. So give me a sec here. I'm going to check something out really quick. Check something out really quick. Come on, load, load, load. When I'm streaming, my computer doesn't like me doing certain things, and this is one of them. Okay, I've got, I've got you yeah, here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Give me a sec here. I just want to see. Perfect, guys. Um, Keep TV. You can check out. I should have just sent you the uh, Steam key back, so you can uh, try it out right away if you want. I I have the shovel. I have the golden shovel knight amiibo too. Is this amiibo compatible? Is this amiibo a compatible? Because I have the I have the golden shovel knight amiibo. I don't know if this is amiibo compatible. You know what? We're gonna go back to the uh, we're gonna go back to the surface. We're gonna go look at our camp a bit, because this might you 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 gave me an idea. If this is amiibo compatible, um, that would be awesome, man. Adding a uh, shovel knight into the Switch version of Skyrim would be freaking amazing. 
Yeah, I, I have the physical version of Shovel Knight to, uh, of the Treasure Trove. You can pick it up sometimes on sale because that's more down to the develop to the uh, retailers. So you see here, like you can buy persistent upgrades. Like if you buy these things, they'll they'll um, they, they'll appear in the future. I I think I want to unlock these. Let's unlock a couple of these. Oh, they get more expensive. Dang. Okay. I thought we'd be able to unlock two. When you beat a boss, he shows up here. So you, you're able to talk to him at camp. And this guy is the guy that you can buy actual... Um, you can buy, like, skips. Skip to the secret fountain. So once you've beaten a boss you can and you've gotten to the previous... Uh, the future area, you can actually buy... You can actually buy a skip... If we had like 29 gems extra, I could buy the skip to the fire level and then it would cost me probably somewhere around the 400 here to skip directly to it. So the good news is you don't always have to start from the beginning here. Once you have it unlocked. Um, yeah. Perfect. Glad you got the steam key, my friend. Um, let's look if there's an amiibo option, though. I ha Sometimes it's someone you have to talk to. I don't see one. Oh my god, Topaz has been a little bit of a pain tonight. Now, I am aiming at finishing around quarter after eight. I don't even know what time it is. Oh, it's like 8.10. We have time for like one more run, guys, tonight. But it's, you know, I, I usually stream for about two hours, two and a half hours sometimes lately. But tonight I'm going to try to keep it at two hours. It's Saturday night. My wife isn't feeling good. I want to get to back to her. Hey, Alex, what's up, my man? How are you doing? Uh, have you tried this game yet? It's uh, it's pretty sweet so far. I'm trying to figure out if we can use Amiibos with it. Because a lot of Yacht Club game stuff is compatible with Amiibos. I just haven't found any options yet. Oh, there's leaderboards. Where are we at? Holy crap, man, there's so many people in here now. When I was here the other day before the game actually released, it was only people with pre-release copies. There was like maybe two, three hundred people in there. <laughs> now there's like freaking thousands. Okie doke. Um, I feel like starting to save up money so I can actually skip ahead. There will be a me in a later free update. Okay, so it's not compatible yet. Thank you for checking that out, Keep TV. Very appreciated. Um, Ugh, yeah, that sucks. You're moving into your new place, eh? So cable management, you're going to have to work through all that garbage. Uh, honestly, I've been really... Yeah, and I've been playing it too. I've been really liking it. I did this. Uh, I got the key a little bit later than I would have liked to, especially for a, a, a roguelite that, you know, I feel like you have to pour a lot of hours into to fully get, like, all the mechanics. So that's why I didn't cover it in a review either, my man. Uh, but uh, I feel like... So far, I'm, I'm liking, though, what I'm what I'm seeing. Oh, nice. We get directly a, a nest and two eggs. So we can get two little mini guys. Oh, it's a different one this time. This time they're on the ground. Interesting. Oh, dang. Careful, we don't have the sabatons this run yet. So I wonder what these little blue guys do now. We knew what the other flying ones did. I wonder if these do the same thing, just walking. Man, uh, this is like an egg run. What the heck?
That was fun. Where are these guys? Doing? Is he gonna eat the? I want to see if he's gonna eat the bug. Oh yeah, it kills the bug if they jump on it. Nice. And if we get to these with the boss, I feel like this is going to be overpowered in this boss specifically because he's so ground-based. Oh, nice, man. They are freaking destroying stuff. Oh, man, another nest. How many of these things do you think we can have? Oh, my God. Holy c man. Yeah, cereal, cereal cleaners I liked. Uh, it was fun. But cereal cleaners came out a while ago. Cereal cleaners I actually covered a little bit ago. It was pretty freaking good. And there's a game I got this week. Um, Guardian Tales. I'm really looking forward to jumping into. I'm going to jump into it as soon as I'm done with Shovel Knight Dig. But it looks like a super fun JRPG-styled game. Uh, it it actually really quickly, visually, reminds me of Chrono Trigger. I, I don't want to say if it's good or not because I haven't touched it yet. It just visually, when I saw it, it right away gave me like Chrono Trigger vibes. And I don't want to say that too loudly because I know Chrono Trigger is like a crazy game for a lot of people. Come on. Oh no. No, I can't get it now. I was like, I don't want to hit the spikes. Damn it. Let's go look what's in here. Let's see if there's entry. The problem is we don't have a lot of money right now. We're sort of poor. Feeling hell now. Filling health past max works towards increasing max health. That'd be super interesting to get and see how that works. We just don't have enough freaking money for it. Because we have all these monsters instead. <laughs> We're loaded. Can, can I trade monsters for money? And we actually didn't take a hit there. I'm thinking of something else then that sounds like cereal cleaners. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I and I believe you, Alex, man. Uh, I could, because like I'm terrible with titles. I'm super visual. Like I have to have a visual of a game to make sure I'm talking about the right one. But um. The game I'm thinking of, just so maybe you'll be able to be like, oh, it's that. It's like you play like a mob guy that cleans up murder scenes. And it's like a puzzle. It's like a top-down puzzle platformer. And you basically have to clean up murder scenes for the mob. Uh, I'm not sure if Guardian Tales is free to play. I honestly didn't check it. I, I got the offer for the code. Visually, the game looked interesting. So I said, yeah, sure, why not? And um, I wanted to jump into it as soon as I was done with this game, which probably means tomorrow in the sense that I'm not done done with Shovel Knight Dig. But, you know, we streamed it and I'm probably going to wait a little while to pop out like a review or maybe like what I did for TMNT. A mini review with the first time it goes on sale sort of because that feels like for the moment to me it feels like when I'm late for a review that seems like the best way of making the video make some sense is the first time I get a sale 
to do a, a focused like mini review on the game at the same time. Because it, it really, honestly, it really sucked that I'm I'm a, I'm so behind on my game reviews that I'm trying to get like back up to date. Uh, what does my item do? I'm not sure. I want to see. Clear space around you with a powerful blow. Um, okay, we're going to take the special item. More riches to appear. Nice. Okay, we do not want the drill thing. The drill thing is god dang awful. Man, final run of the night, guys. We've got to make sure this one counts. We've got to try and get far. And I want to find the freaking blacksmith. Because he gives permanent upgrades that I want to unlock. There's the nail. Oh, man, I knew this. Kill him, my pets. Kill him. F it. Let's just go. Okay, this is going to be a challenge room. I'm going to have to kill guys. Get them, my pets. Get them. Get the, get the skeletons. Boom. Haha. <laughs> my minions are too powerful. Uh, oh my god, that's the relic. That thing is super powerful. This is the spear I was talking about that gets more powerful the more you get successful hits. And now I'm super low on health, so I have to try to just not die now. And I have to try to pick up the third gear so that I can actually refill my health. Okay, I think we got this, boys. If I can get here... Oh, yes. Yes! We are saved. Uh, okay, so it's a different. See, I thought I knew the name told me something, Alex, and I was like, man, I just played a game called Serial Cleaner, or so that's it, and it was like a top down, and this is more realistic. Okay, that's awesome. Post void off the eShop. Oh, that I didn't know about that. Good to know they they were they running into some issues. It's delayed. Okay, good thing. No, uh, Roman. This is not part of the treasure trove. This is actually a brand new, uh, a brand new game from uh, Yacht Club. Uh, it's basically Shovel Knight done in a roguelite platformer style. Yeah, man. Uh, we're we're gonna destroy him this time. We're gonna destroy him. Uh, on top of it, I've got the lance, the super powerful lance, man. The, 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 this guy's going down, and I've got my minions. Come on. Ah. Ooh, dude, stop dodging my lance. <laughs> he dodged all my lance shots, man. Okay, I thought the lance was going to be great against him. Apparently it is not. Ooh, this is not going to be as much as a pushover as I thought it was going to be. But we still got him. Whoa, that was awful. I thought the minions were going to just beat his butt down, but apparently that is not so. So that went terribly. Okay. Oof. Now I don't know what we're going to do because we have like zero life. Zero life. Uh, at least we're going to have enough gems this time to be able to skip to this part. And I... Oh, no. 
man. Ugh. I'm gonna buy the skip though to this part because I really do want to unlock that blacksmith. The problem with the skips though, I'm gonna explain to you guys right away. Number one, they cost gems. Number two, if you do start using the skips, you won't have time to power up by the time you get to the later parts of the game. Because the game, like if you think about it, if you get powerful items in the beginning of the game where it's a little easier, it makes when you get down there further, like, more balanced. But if you don't do that, well, you'll have to go straight. So now we can basically skip to the water level or the fire level. And, um, you know what? Let's do that really quick. Let's skip there. Just see what happens. I want to see how it works because I never bought one yet. And we're we're going to end the stream after this run, like wherever we fall here. So we are directly in the smelt work. So we actually skipped past the first boss. It's that basically every time you go back to camp, from what I can understand, if you want to pay 400 gold, you can skip past any boss that you've already beaten. That seems to be the way it works. But you have to pay 400 gems. So eventually, if you just try to skip each and every time, you're going to run out of gems, most likely. Unless you do really good runs, like, gem-wise. But the reason I want to do this is I really want to try and find the freaking blacksmith. Now, this is weird. You've gotta, we've got to put coal in the fire to raise this thing. Grab that. There we go. And the thing's already coming to chase us down. Dang it. See, when you take too long, that's the thing that appears. I, I mentioned it earlier. We shovel coal, we shovel coal. Jump here. Woo. And we can't buy anything. See, this is what I meant. Since you're starting right here, you're, you're not going to be able to buy stuff because... You know what I mean? Is that basically you skip ahead, so you're 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 not you don't have the gems you would normally have at this point, and on top of it, you don't have any power up. So you're basically starting here, but you're you're zero powered up, zero items, and we missed the third gear. Good, awesome stuff. I've got to do this here. I don't know if he's going to have anything he can sell us. It's a thousand. Dang. I want to, I, I love that thing. That's the thing that lets you actually like sort of float in the air even when you're not digging. What the heck? I don't know what happened there. I'm not sure what happened there. Like, I'm not sure why he didn't do his shovel dive. Is this infinite? Oh. Annoying. 
Oh my god, we're not gonna get any life here. This hurts. And I'm not sure why some have dirt and the other one doesn't, but we'll see. Yeah, eventually you, you, like, if you do well in this section, you'll have enough gems. I'm just saying you don't have, like, any, po like, if you think of a roguelite, it's like, if you've played Hades, think of if Hades let you skip directly to the fifth world without getting any boons yet. You know what I mean? Like, if you, if you skip directly to Hades without getting any of the boons that you acquire throughout a normal run, yeah, you, you have to be crazy on point. Well, that's a bit the effect that's happening here. Uh, but maybe not as not as rough because Hades is really dependent on booms. This I feel that if you get good enough, you could probably do a decent run even without the power ups. But you don't have anything like the last time I got here, like uh, on the really good run. Remember, I had like five or six hit points. I had the sabaton, so I could walk on spikes. Uh, all things that I accumulated through the beginning of the game. Uh, Doing this, skipping, you don't you don't accumulate any of that. And overall, you probably in the end are going to bank less gems overall, in my opinion. But yeah. Okay, buddies. Tonight, we are going to end it here because um, honestly, it's been an awesome stream. I'm super... Honestly, I'm really happy the last few streams like the games were like low key a lot of reading blah 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 tonight we had a fast paced i feel like a really fun stream to go over so i'm i'm super pumped and um i'm really hoping i get to play enough of this to maybe do a secondary review or something or like i said do a mini review when it finally goes on sale but uh Anyway, that's uh, this. That is Shovel Knight Dig. I think it's going to be an awesome game. If you're into 2D platformers, if you're into roguelites, this is going to be a very decent one. Right up there with Skull the Hero Slayer. And Topaz wants to say goodnight too. Good night. Good night, everyone. But definitely, um, I think this is a game that you should definitely check out. Um, if I had to give a quick rating for y'all, really quick, I put this like... I'm thinking in the 8 to 8.5 category. I just have to see how deep the game gets, if I can manage to get, like, to end game scenario. Like, you know, fourth, fifth boss, and end of the game. But I think that this game is going to be, like, in that in that type of scenario. Maybe even with future DLC and add-ons, 9 territory. The, but for the moment, I'm, I'm, I'm saying 8 to 8.5-ish. So... Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Thank you so much for everyone who showed up. Congrats. Thank you so much for the donations for the people who donated. Very much appreciated, always. And you know what? Thank you so much for stopping by. And as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.